Welcome back. So I figured since it's a special holiday, I would do another special treat for you all. Here's some Yorkshire puddings that normally you would serve with roast beef and all the trimmings, but maybe you want to serve it with your turkey. So I'm going to use two different pans here. I'm going to use a regular muffin tin, and I'm going to use a mini muffin tin to create little mini Yorkshire puddings. The recipe is real simple. We're going to crack five eggs. And then you're going to take an equal amount of flour to the eggs. Using a measuring cup, just note the level where the eggs came out. And then pour yourself out an equal amount of flour to those eggs. So once you've figured out how far your eggs are, you'll have the same amount with the flour. And now you're going to do the same amount with the milk. So basically equal amounts of flour and milk to your eggs. We're going to mix them up in a mixing bowl here. Just pour all the ingredients inside the mixing bowl. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add one teaspoon of kosher salt to the bowl. Mix it well, but don't overbeat the batter. You don't want it to become tough and dense. The other important thing is to make sure to cover and let the batter rest for 30 minutes at least. Okay, so for the minis, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to add cheese and chives. So I'm going to finely grate one cup's worth of white cheddar here. Once I get it all grated, I'm just going to add it to a bowl, and then we're going to do some chopping. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Taking about a quarter cup's worth of chopped chives, I'm just going to add that to the bowl as well. Being careful that when I mix it, I don't smush the cheese down. I just want to mix the chives in with the cheese equally. And there you go. It's all set. Set that aside for now. I'm using a canola vegetable blend because it has a higher smoke point than just regular vegetable oil. And I'm going to cover each of the bottom of the wells with just enough oil to where it's covered. My oven's at 450 degrees and ready to go. So into the middle rack it goes. I'm going to let it go for about six minutes until it starts to smoke. Once it starts to smoke, you know you're ready. Okay, I'm going to wake up the batter by adding in two tablespoons of water. Just giving it a quick mix. And we'll be ready to pour it in as soon as the oil is done. Once the oil is done, being very careful but quickly, you're going to add enough batter to go about halfway up the tin on each of the holes. You'll have enough batter to do a full set of large Yorkshire puddings. But I'm going to only do a few because I'm going to do a full set of minis instead. Same thing here. I'm pouring in the batter just about halfway up each of the tins. And then I'm going to take about a tablespoon's worth of cheese and chive mixture and add it straight to the middle of each. And once that's done, I'm going to pop it in the oven. And about 18 minutes at 450 degrees, it'll be nice and done. And here we go. So here's the traditional looking Yorkshire pudding looking nice and here is the cheese and chive mini puddings those look wonderful so you want to make sure to serve them nice and hot or you can add roast beef to the metal since it's usually served with roast beef and then maybe a little bit of gravy if you like or another idea is you can take the roast beef place it in the middle and then add some creamy horseradish to the top and then just top it off with a little bit of chives. It packs quite a punch. So enjoy. And until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen.